all right so here we go still working on this avenger here's the headlight i put in i was um pretty tied up and i didn't get a chance to this was a this wasn't too much of a pain of pain in the butt but i just want to show you quickly how to get this headlight in if you need to install this light on this avenger okay i'm just going to point you through the steps okay so first you have to remove this this grill i never removed it all the way i left these these in i if you don't have one make sure you invest in one of these it'll make life a whole lot easier you just get this down into the hole and you lift it up and then you put it in there and you lift I mean screwdrivers busting my knuckles for all this time you, you grow up and you don't know that they have tools for <laughs> for, for every doggone thing you, you just grow up uh, like my dad he just used whatever he had anyway I digress alright so I took most of these out this just fits into holes down in the in the bump on the bump on this side you flip it up here and there you have some 10 millimeter bolts holding the bumper okay take those out and the bumper the top portion of the bumper will be able to come out of course you have let me not get ahead of myself there's a, a catch there a there and then there's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt there so all you really have to do is remove the 10 millimeter bolt and this will pull out and and don't forget the bottom I don't have the um, cover on the bottom but this this car was wrecked I don't have the cover that was at the bottom so you have to remove it might be a seven or eight millimeter you have to you'd have to remove all the bolts going around the side the, the bottom of the bumper so it's not terrible but that's I mean that's what you'd have to do to get the bumper off once you get the bumper off and you have this clear, you can fully access this light. The, the light's sitting on this plastic piece right here, okay, being held. There are two bolts. I use an 8mm. seems a little smaller than 8mm. I use 8mm to get those two off, okay, and then that same eight millimeter much snugger fit I used um, to get off this torque this torque so uh, this torque uh, well I'm sorry I use an eight millimeter to remove this one okay um, there's a 10 millimeter over here where else we got a eight millimeter Right there. Where is it? I can't say it. The side of the. There it is. Let me point to it. Right there. That's an eight millimeter. Hiding. So dark. And then another one here. Right there. Ha. Okay. That's it. Holding it down. Then once once you get in there, you'll need a screwdriver, and you'll have four harnesses that you have to take off. Okay, there's one. I can't show you the rest. There's two. Right below that cable right there, and there are two more. Just pull them up. Get it. Use a screwdriver. You're gonna definitely need a screwdriver. I use my my fingers for the two on the top. The two on the bottom are a little more difficult to get off. Okay, and then you can pull this light out to get it back on do the reverse sit it down in this holder first and then push it back in here and get it into the car onto the car and then tighten these up last just like you tighten them up do the, do, do it in reverse order tighten those up last or else you're gonna be fighting to get this thing to sit properly and to get in here Okay, and then I can tweak this. See how the fender's off right there. I'll tweak all that once I start putting this um, 
this bumper on but that's uh that's for you guys just to show you you guys who are do-it-yourselfers i hope my finger has been this the way this whole time i have to edit that whole freaking thing for you do-it-yourselfers uh you want to figure out how to get this thing off without with the minimal the least amount of effort so um that's it.